So guys, yesterday I submitted my finals for the diploma in organic hair care formulation course. And if I pass, let alone get a good grade, I will be a certified organic skincare, uh, hair care formulator. Skincare is coming next when I do that final. But literally, peeps, I spent, um, the computer was recording me to have spent 23 days on this. I know I did more than that because I didn't start by going on the computer. I started to make the bars and then I started to think about, okay, what do they exactly want from me and what kind of information am I going to have to um be providing so that's when I logged in and started the final so I'm thinking it's more like 30 days and then as far as like the bars the shampoo bar took nine revisions at the end and the conditioner bar took 11 revisions meaning I made nine different versions of shampoo and 11 different versions of the conditioner obviously towards the end the tweaks were very small however they got bigger towards the very end because once i started to look into sensitizers and things like that um i found some problems like i wasn't able to find all the safety data sheet information that i needed and i know that that was a crucial part of the questions and i um could not bypass that so I actually had to change um, even like the scent of the products at the very end um, but I ended up with great products but like I said the hour, amount of hours that I spent on this I'm estimating somewhere close to a hundred just because each bar takes an hour and a half to physically formulate and then you know I have to try them on then I have to um, before I actually formulate in person mixing the ingredients together I have to formulate it on paper and you know I'm rewriting it and then with all the thinking time and all this um, and then uh, researching ingredients and double checking um, entering the information into this final document all these things 100 hours is my estimate but who knows could be more um i'm very happy with what i ended up submitting i feel like i have a very awesome shampoo and a conditioner now and the final version of the conditioner is an absolute dream. I was curling my hair this morning and just loving how silky and soft my hair is. The release is absolutely comparable to the um, known brands conditioner bar that I started off with as a comparison. I did talk some smack about it in the beginning of my journey with these products. Um, mainly because I did not know how hard it is to actually get a release out of a conditioner bar. Um, I would say it does, I'm taking back my words, it does do its work, meaning like a conditioner is supposed to make your hair softer, more combable, um, reduce frizz and kind of neutralize the pH in your hair so that you're not left with any kind of friction or anything like that so all of those things I want to say my product is very much uh, comparable if not even better than the one that I compared it to but um, that's just how conditioner bars work I had a friend try my products and the same um, she had kind of like the same confusion as a first-time user of bar product um, because you can't possibly, out of a hard product, you can't possibly get like an, um, you know, um, palm full of conditioner out. That would be like almost 
all of the bar. So the way that it works, it actually releases a lot less. You'll end up using a lot less product, um, but uh, it still works on the hair. You just have to make sure that you distribute it evenly and it leaves it absolutely shiny, soft and beautiful, um, just like the uh, pile of conditioner you would get from a pump, uh, which by the way is mainly filled with water. So don't be fooled by just the pile of conditioner in your hand compared to like a bar product. I was, and hence the bad um, review on the conditioner bar when I first was trying it out. Um, that product is great, but I think mine is better. And um, <laughs> yeah, so anyways, being awfully confident here, but I freaking love my shampoo bar. It is a rich, creamy, white. It gives a soft, efficient, like sud formation and um, it washes really well but not too harshly so like I like to wash my hair every day or at least very frequently and for anyone like me you don't want to strip all the oils from your hair so what I did with my shampoo I made it like very rich yet efficient in washing so that you're every time you wash you're replenished with everything and so yeah, uh, it has a beautiful beige color, the shampoo, and the um, conditioner is a beautiful ivory color. And then together, they just look like a really pretty combo. And um, the scent ended up being um, blood orange, tangerine, and mei chang, which is also kind of a citrusy smell. So just imagine those citrusy scents combined with the coconut base mm. like okay it's a good combo um yeah i'm very happy with it as you can probably tell um i i'm really hopeful that all is good i'm gonna get a good grade i'm gonna get a pass and then i can um happily move on to other things um, they told me that they should get back to me within like seven days um, even though they requested us to submit the final before the last 30 days that your course um, is active um, but um, I think that is only if you had to make some changes I believe that the tutor looks at it once and gives you some feedback and you have a chance to make a change. I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard of this before. And if, um, but you only get to submit this once. And if it's a fail, it's a fail. You won't get your certification. Um, so, fingers crossed. I picked a very complicated product to do dry dry products are not easy to make I had such a learning curve in these but I feel that much more confident in my skills for doing so and so keep your fingers crossed for me I uh, cannot wait to be an organic hair care So guys, I don't actually know now what I'm going to be studying next because I still have a few courses left. I have until Halloween to finish everything and I decided that now because today's Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday when I submitted everything. Um, this Thursday and Friday I'm just going to kind of clear the table, let my head rest for a second uh, as far as school stuff or new information so I want to open some mail uh, recheck my highlighted emails um, 
you know, just update my calendar. There's so much going on at this time of the year. The school year's wrapping up. Um, just get all that sorted out so that when I get into the next thing, I can potentially stay in that zone for the next couple months and be set. So that's the goal. I also feel like the house could use a little bit of love. Um, I want to catch up on the laundry a little bit and stuff like that. So this few days now is great for that. And then come Monday, we are on to the next thing. We set a goal and work toward it. We dot the I's and cross the T's and call it done. But what if we could do more? What if the goal had a goal and the letters carried a message beyond the page? How would one achieve that? I believe we can tap into our old experiences and feelings and use this higher knowing anytime. Whether it's finals at school or a thank you letter to your kid's teacher at the end of the year, the key to achieving a level of transcendence and connection is to go beyond yourself into an unselfish state and just watch and listen. In drafting my school finals, I dove boldly right into my old setbacks. I revisited the times I'd been too in love with the present to consider change and the feelings of helplessness that followed when being misunderstood in my messaging. The clarity that that gave me was profound and will hopefully help me pass my exam. Never fall in love with your ideas, but the possibilities which they behold. Not everything is what it seems, and not everything sounds the way you hear it.